Hello, everybody. Um, so, Chick Tech. Oops, I need one of these. First, a little bit about me. Uh, this is me. You can find me on Twitter at NNGuard and um, pretty much any other site with the same username. I measure my life in my pets. And so, uh, first came Bo. <laughs> then I became a moderator at opensource.com. Then, while at OzCon in Portland a few years ago, I saw the booth for Chick Tech. And I had just moved to Austin, and I was trying to find a meetup that I could join. And I said, what are you about? And I'll tell you the answer to that in a second. I learned about Chick Tech, and I said, do you have an Austin chapter? And they said, no. And the rest is history. <laughs> then came Bailey. <laughs> Then, as Ricky just mentioned, I joined Red Hat. Um, I am on day 80, I think, um, at Red Hat, which is awesome. And so I'm still writing for opensource.com, just not as a moderator. And then, what is the best way to celebrate a new job? <gasps> Another dog. And so then I got Ariel. And so um, I do this because one of my fellow moderators mentioned to me that I've been at Red Hat for 80 days, and my animals haven't shown up in the documentation yet. So, <laughs> I had to share with you. So, what did I learn about Chick Tech? What should you know about Chick Tech? We are a national organization who focus on retaining women in technology. We also focus on high school girls. This is actually our predominant program. We introduce them to tech through a lot of hands-on workshops, completely free to them. We are 100% volunteer run, and we depend a lot on donations and sponsorships and things like that. In Austin, we are about to have our kickoff weekend. It will be November 12th and 13th, which is really hard for me to be here because I'm thinking of everything I have to do for that. And we got 336 students nominated by area teachers. These were girls who had an aptitude for tech, but maybe aren't in the robotics club or aren't in computer programming classes yet. And so we were able to you know, get these girls to find out about us and let these teachers know about us. And we got this really great mix of people uh, nominated. And so, um, where does open come into this? Well, we're going to be using open source tools. We're going to be teaching open source languages. We're going to have them share their code on GitHub and introduce them to the powers of you know, sharing and contributing to communities. And there's just so many other possibilities that we have as we grow and as we expand our, our chapter. Um, I'm hoping that other chapters are doing the same thing as well. One of the beauties of, of Chick Tech is that we do get to decide what our programming is going to be based on the skill sets in our, our cities. So the registrations, we got 100 registrations for girls in less than a week. We got their nominations, we delivered their letters, and in less than a week, 100 girls quickly signed up for this program. Um, of them, most of them were in 10th or 8th grade, um, but we did get uh, a nice range of age groups. We also like to know if these are girls that are in need, because there are a lot of programs in Austin, but some of them cost money. And so we want to get the girls that aren't going to be able to go to those other programs due to financial reasons or family reasons. And so it turned out that we got 30% of our nominees are on some form of lunch assistance. We also loved this number. You know, when we're talking about diversity, we're not just talking about gender, we're talking about you know, walks of life, nationality, et cetera. And so we got 47% of our nominees, their Eng English is their second language. 17 of the girls nominated, was on one of the other slides, were refugees. Um, so you know, we're really getting a nice broad audience into this program. Um, we're in Austin, Texas, so these numbers aren't terribly surprising to us, um, but almost half of the girls that will be attending our program in a couple of weeks are Hispanic or Latin American. We need you. Okay, we're going to start 10 more chapters in 2017. Here's the list of chapters that are there. They need you to help them by volunteering. You can learn more at these links, which I'm sure will be shared. And we have a starting a chapter guide if you want to do that, so you can learn how to start your own chapter. Or you can talk to me. I'll stay up here after the talk. Lots of social media. You can tweet about us. Um, follow us on Facebook. Find our various meetups. 
Everyone is welcome, okay? So any genders, any walk of life. And if you're interested in one of these awesome t-shirts, $20, cash your credit, come to me, and all proceeds go to the girls.